Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Pico Structure Machine Expert. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what we're gonna see is how we can communicate the Modicon M262 to the SCADA Eco Structure Machine SCADA Expert using the Codesys driver. Okay, so let's go first to the software for the PLC. So the first thing that you need to do is to create your program, then to find the GBLs, and then on the symbol configuration, let me just close all the different windows. On the symbol configuration, just select the variables that you want to share. Okay. Once you do this, you just need to download to the controller, and then here build generate code. This we create a XML file that I can show you like right this. Okay, that it will show the variables that you have. Once you have done this and connect to the controller, it's something very, something that we need to double check is if the controller has the security on it. Okay, we need to disable for this particular process that I'm going to show you. Okay, so if you're trying to log in and it asks you for user and for the password, then we need to disable that. Okay, unfortunately. If we don't want that, we can we can go always to the um, different driver. Okay, but this is just for the policy part for this integration. So here, security, disable user rights and that will disable the user rights. Now, on the machine SCADA, which is open on this side, we just need to go to communication. On the communication side here, we just need to add a new source. I'm going to add a new one. Here, we just need to add codices. Here, just to find the name, it's gonna be my M262L app. Here, just to find the version 3. Runtime is going to be um, my M262L. Okay. And don't ask me why did my case something didn't work as expected. You should be able to see that directly and see the tags. Or at least that worked for the M26 for the M251. On this one, I need to double check. But if not, you can always import the files. Okay, so I'm going to show you first like this. So, okay. Okay, and then let's add uh, something here. So, let's see if we have... No. Uh, text. No. Let's add a jungle. No, let me just copy one that I have from the other screen that I was playing with. This one, I just don't remember which one was the option that I was using. Uh, okay, there we go. So I copy this into here. So now, double click. I'm going to select the new tab expression. You should be able to see here in devices the M262 that you have. If you try to log in here, refresh. It will take some time, doesn't see anything, or at least I wasn't able to see that on my case. <laughs> it's thinking, okay, and doesn't see anything. So, in order to avoid that, what I do is to go here, brush communication once again, select the target, configure, and select the offline. Okay, and here, I'm just copy here, Control C. There we go. And select this one, which is the one that I will use him. Okay. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay. Now, if you go to the object here you have the three variables I have created on the machine expert. Simple configuration, counter, enable, reset. This is like an offline. So let's try to use the counter over here. 
and see if it works. So run. Exit. Trying to exit the application. Uh, want to run this. Just move to the screen. So right now it's in zero. Okay, it's just has the communication right now. And uh, then it's this one over here. So I'm going to reset it. And then start again. You can see that I have the connection and it's working fine. So there are a few things that we need to double check the security because there is no space over there to put the security on the policy side. And then basically that's it and it will work. Um, and then on machine expert, if you don't want to go into this direction and use the security to just go to online security, enable it once again, and that's it. So this is how we can use the communication drivers or the easy integration of tags over policies between the machine expert using the M262 and the EcoStructure machine Scala expert. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.